Throwdown for the Animation Throwdown, the quest for cards, featuring five amazing shows, Family Guy, American Dad, Futurama, Bob's Burgers, and King of the Hill. Animation Throwdown, the quest for cards, is available on iOS and Android devices for absolutely nothing. It is completely free, and it's 480 megabytes to download. You have some amazing features in this game. It is a freemium game, though. You can experience everything for that free price tag. You don't have to spend any money, but they do entice you with some really cool rare cards, packs, and some other things that you can um, purchase through the in-app purchase option. But overall, you can experience this collectible card battle game for absolutely nothing, and you have some really cool things. We have five of your favorite cartoons together for the first time ever. This was really great to see five big animation studios working together or five big cartoons working together to create a really fun game for everyone to just enjoy and experience on their touch screen devices. Now you have 25 chapters featuring moments and locations from your favorite episodes. There are definitely endless hours of play in this game. I've played for many hours now. Um, it was getting a little bit old near the end. The playstyle is very basic. It is definitely for a casual gamer. I've played a lot of other card games and they do have a lot of strategy behind them. This one here is an automated card battling game in my opinion. You basically place down a card or fuse a card and it will automatically attack the card in front of that card or it will attack the opponent directly. So it's all automated, all very simple. Coming from a card background where I've played Hearthstone, Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon, lots of other different card games. One thing that confused me about this one is the attack doesn't actually make any difference when you're attacking the card. So say for example my card has 4 attack, 8 defense, and the card that I'm attacking has 4 attack and 8 defense. That 4 attack on the opposing side will not affect me for some reason. So when I attack them, they don't attack back. And normally in card games you have to be prepared and you have to be very strategic about attacking certain cards. But in this one it's all automated, so I guess it is fair for all casual gamers. Uh, but for me it was just kind of weird because it is a very casual thing. But the thing that actually kept me playing this game was the fusing option. So you can collect, upgrade, and fuse your cards to create an amazing deck. And the fusing was great because you got some unique cards with kind of characteristics or moments from the animations that really stood out to me. So that was really great guys because there are some memorable characters in this little app here and from all of these TV shows there are some amazing characters. So it was great to fuse cards together and actually experience uh, almost like a new game style I guess because fusing was the thing that made the game really fun for me. It was visually appealing, it was fun and all the different combos and abilities are really fun as well. Um, but overall like I mentioned before I did get over this relatively quickly. It does still have a place in my heart though and if you guys haven't checked it out then definitely do check it out. Um, please try not to get too addicted guys. You can spend a lot of money in these freemium games. I personally am guilty of that with Pokemon Go but with this one here I was very good. I didn't spend any money guys. Anyway thank you so much for watching. I would recommend this. This is a free download. I will have the links in the description below. Make sure to have a splendid day though and peace out.